Hi guys, welcome to this video. Exactly from today, six months are remaining for the CAT exam. So th this video will give you the complete six months overview on what is expected out of you, how to study, what to study, what not to study. So please be with me for the next few minutes. I'll walk you through. All right, so that's our plan. So these are the percentile here: a graph 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 99. So this is how we have to increase from now till the CAT level. Fine. If you take a mock today, if you take an actual CAT paper today, you will be scoring between 70 to 50 percentile or maybe up to 80 percentile if you are already good. Fine. So my target is to divide your preparation into two phases. Phase 1, phase 2 for the CAT exam. Phase 1, at the end of the phase 1, my target is very simple to go from between up to 80 to 90 percentile. You won't score 99 percentile overnight. But let's target from 50 or wherever you are today to 80 percentile. Yep, in the phase one and then we'll go from phase one 90 to 95 99 percentile in phase two yeah let go step by step overnight you cannot win the competition fine so let, let's do part one here and part two there cat after cat exam we'll focus on the other exam i wanted to focus on the other exams as well every video i talk about the same thing why would you to focus on other exam because of the, the, this reason Shashank Chorge cat 99.99 percentile and Sujit Kumar CET rank 2 alright so the, the, this is the reason I want, want you to prepare for the other exams he was cat topper but Z 90 percentile CET topper but cat 86 percentile so what I am trying to show here is that you never know which exam you are going to talk top fine but trust me if, if you are taking 5 exams 5 main exams which is Z cat snap and mat and ct i promise you you will score in one of the exams fine you are an indian student if you work hard for five exam ek to pass ho gaya. and trust me one will happen yep so that's the reason i want you to focus on all the exams all right now how to study your uh, uh, every day on the day by day basis your weekly plan monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday now how I want you to study, I want you to work for 6 days, one day you take a break. So for example Sunday you are taking a break, Sunday you are only attending the lectures if you are attending a coaching institute or you are not studying at all, fine, but 6 days we have left. If you are working for this stage, if you are able to study for 2 to 3 hours, it's more than sufficient, trust me, if you are working. If you are not working, then you need 4 hours. So let's say 2 in the morning, 2 in the evening, that's more than sufficient. These two hours in the morning, evening are without Facebook, without phone, without anything. Yeah, I don't want you to keep your open books open 24 hours, but you're not just studying at all. That thing I don't want. Yeah. So let's just say with the, for the working person how to plan. So you got two hours a day. So one day you have to do quant, one day verbal, one day quant, one day verbal, quant, verbal. Fine. Why I want you to change the track is because if you study same topic for one week, you start feeling bored. So because of that we are going to change the track every week, every day sorry, fine. So if suppose I am picking up time speed distance, so time speed uh, distance I will do the basics here and I will do advanced level here, fine, so it will take, take me two days to co cover up the complete topic because the, the chapter is big, maybe a smaller topic like percentage you can complete in one day, fine. So same for verbal you can pick up like one day RC, one day fill in the blanks, one day something something so keep on doing. Yeah, please remember in CAD both the topics are equally important so we have to work on both the things yep so working people you can't spend more than two to three hours but trust me that's more than sufficient fine if I compare a working versus a non-working guy so this is a work x wala guy and he is a fresher guy work x wala guy want to study but don't have time to study yep fresher have got time to study but have no motivation to study and trust me that's a fact those who are sitting at home start losing their motivation that's what I'm saying, study in the morning and evening, any 4 hours, that's all. Remaining time, go out, enjoy yourself, if you can pick up a part time job or do something like it, some activity, do it. Fine, this is not the right time to put in 10-10 hours, 8-8 eight, eight hours. This is the time to start with scratch. Yep, alright, so that was the plan for the working people. So if I go to the non-working people, Fine. I want four four hours from you every day. So break them into two two hours. Ka two two sessions. So two in the morning, two hours in the night, evening whenever you want to study. Fine. So again, quant morning, evening verbal. Next day morning verbal, evening quant. 
fine rotate them don't let your body become used to same thing because being a if you have been to gym your gym instructor do same thing one day cardio one day weights they keep on ro ro rotating the exercise because the body should not get used to that fine so and you need a break as well so six days working one day break exactly the way we do in the gym that day you can uh, pick up anything fine trust me that this plan works over the first for everyone All right. Now we'll move topic by topic. This is an important topic from the quant point of view. The most important topic in quant, surprisingly, is DI. And this, this is the topic where least of the time is spent by students. So nine questions you'll get from this Al algebra, which I call dirty quant, including functions, graph, all the topics, se seven questions. Visual geometry, six question. Ge geometry. Visual geometry is my uh, name of my uh, workshops which I take. Arithmetic. Four questions: permutation, probability two, and numbers two questions. Fine. The valuation of number have gone gone down in the last couple of years. If you have seen last year CAD papers, not two thousand seven, two thousand five, there used to be five, five, six, six questions used to come to numbers. The number have gone down. Instead of number, algebra have picked up functions, graph, all the things. That's why I call them dirty quant. Fine. That's your overview break of the quant section. Now, these are the main areas we have to cover. Fine. If you see your quant is basically two kind of topics. One are all the easy, easy topics, pair pair topic like uh, percentages, profit and loss, time and work, time speed, distance, interest, all these things. Fine. And trust me, most most of the coaching and spend maximum time on these topics. But when in CAD they have moved up the chain, geometry, functions, graphs, inequalities, special equations. Yeah, permutation, combination, all these topics have become more important. If I combine these five topics: geometry, functions, inequalities, special equations, and permutation, combination. Last year there were fourteen questions out of twenty from this area, and only four questions out of twenty from traditional quant. Fine. So traditional quant is good for the basics, your ratios, percentages, profit and loss, but they are not coming in the exam. That much, as compared to the other quant. So it's high time to start working on the high level quant because exactly from today six months are remaining. Fine. In fact, we are starting with the geometric workshop this weekend. If you are planning to join C T K, yeah. Similarly, from verbal point of view, reading based question there will be sixteen question, fourteen question out of twenty, based on reading. Uh, RCs, para jumbles, paragraph completion, grammar base two questions, vocab usage fill in the blanks four questions, and logical reasoning ten questions. So that's your breakup. So RC and puzzles are the two most you want to. <coughs> All right. So let's move to the planning part. So this is the phase one area, April to June. Then phase two area, phase three area. Fine. First exam which is going to happen is CAT, which is going to be in October end, in November first week. Then after that, every month we got exam SNAP and MAT, ZAT, and CT will be the last exam which will happen in Feb, including IFT, all the other exams. Yeah. So these are all the exams which we are going to have. So my target is very simple for the phase one end of the phase phase one. Your target is 80 to 90 percentile, and phase two target is 99 percentile. And let's see how we are going to approach that. Now, with six months remaining, we have to start with the shortcuts from now. Fine. So, if I give you the overview, these are my six main areas from quant point of view: geometry, numbers, equations, dirty quant, arithmetic, and DI. And these are the six areas from the verbal point of view: RC, grammar, vocab, paragraph completion. Okay. So, these are the six. 12 areas which we want to cover and we have to start working them from today because exactly 6 months are there remaining for the exam fine so in over the next 6 months we are going to complete all these topics which are their high level up to the cat level but we can't ignore the basics because without basics you won't be able to do anything in there so how are we going to go about that so that we are going to cover the basics as well as the shortcuts right so this is the time to start with the shortcuts but obviously keeping your feet on the floor And doing the basics as well. So we're going to do both the things in parallel. For example, we are doing ge geometry as well. 
this week and maybe we are doing ratios as well so all the basic traditional math topic and advanced level topic we are going to keep in parallel fine so this weekend for example this weekend i'm starting with the ge geometry at cet king at all the, all the online and classroom courses so that we can start off with the plan fine so all the shortcut workshops and everything will be combined together fine so i'm going to complete your syllabus once as a basic second time as shortcuts and third time for the other exam non cat exams trust me if you are able to complete your syllabus three time obviously you will score fine so if you are joining cet king we are going to complete your basics shortcuts and the non cat exams at snap and mat cet all the exams your mock will start from next month so probably by may we'll start the mocks uh the lot, lot of co coaching should who have already started taking the mocks but trust me it's too early to take the mock or to score in the mock fine so i would recommend start taking the mocks from me in fact your real mock scores will be counted in the last 3 months yeah august september october these 3 months mock scores are very important and we have to keep a tab of your scores as well but not now trust me it's too early fine so all the lecture will be recorded uh, and available for you online the objective of being recorded lecture is that you can view the videos 24 hours 365 days i'll be launching a weekly uh, workshop so will not be uploaded image all of them will not be uploaded together because otherwise it will be lost there are too many things to be tackled so will be problem so every week we'll be launching one part for example geometry the numbers and equations so they everything will come one by one all right now where to study the books point of view if you are joining cet king then these three phase books are more than sufficient phase 1 basics which you have to complete by next 3 months phase 2 is advanced cat ka level which will start after 3 months and the other exams fine so phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 so these are three phases which three phase books which you are inclined with the my overview objective and trust me so score marks will come if you work hard the marks will automatically come Right, right now the focus is to get 80 percentile. Then we'll move the focus to 99 percentile after three months. Yeah, so gradual increase in the scores. All right. So right now your target is very simple. For the next three months, you have to complete the basics. So we are on. Suppose you are seeing this video on April 15th. Your target is July 15th. Three months from now, you have to target to complete all the basics. Trust me, you will enjoy the shortcuts if you have done the basics. So we have to start from scratch and complete all the basics now. Okay, all right. Fine. So basics, as we talked about, <coughs> sorry earlier that the all the basic quant level and the advanced quant level we are going to do in parallel. Same from the verbal point of view. For example, in RC we have some RC which are based on facts, which are simple straightforward RC, and then we'll move to the high level RC, which are more of an inference based tone of the passages. So both the things we have to keep in parallel. We can't do advanced level without doing the basic level. fine so every week there will be a advanced level class and a basic level class both the things are happening in parallel all right this thing i already talked about earlier about the books we have gradually we start start the mocks if this is not the ra right time to start the mocks fine probably by may you can start the mock for five months before the exams i know some of the co coaching should have already started in the mocks but that is the team uh, motivated for, for, for you trust me If you are starting doing the mock today, yeah, your syllabus is not done. You are not done with your basics. How will you score marks? The only person who is scoring now, who are scoring 99 percentile in the mocks, are last year's repeaters. Trust me. Fine. So what I am trying to say here is that you are not, you will not be scoring good marks in the mocks now. So it makes no sense to give tough, tough mocks. If you want to take some basic mocks, yes, you can do that. Fine. But do not take any tough mocks because that will backfire. Yep. So please don't do that. That will you rather than feeling motivated, you start feeling down, which will be very very bad for the confidence. Yep. So at three taking, if you are joining us, then we'll be having the few mocks which is starting from the very very basic mock, then gradually pick up pace. Fine. So gradually we'll increase the pace. The so phase one, LOP one, is walk before you run. Fine. That is complete your basics, get yourself comfortable, and then we'll go to phase two. objective is very simple your accuracy building and basics then we'll go to the level 2 lop2 which is the attempt building fine this is where we'll we'll have the mocks with a varied level of difficulty all this thing will keep on the, this phase last phase is op optimization we'll do the experimentation experimentation with the strategies and everything 
so that we can optimize the final strategy which we are going to follow in the exam. Fine. It's a phase one, phase two, phase three, the way I work. Yeah. So this is also the right time to identify your weak area. Start marking out the topics which where you are weak at, so that we can gradually improve them. Fine. So right now the uh, objective is to complete your syllabus. Then by the time we reach July, August, September, October, four months we are going to dedicate for the improvement. Find shortcuts and improving the weak area. All right. So th this month homework is these are your two main areas: visual geometry, geometry basically, permutation, combination, probability. These are the two areas which you have to complete over the next one month. Trust me, combine these two areas are eight question out of thirty. It's a very very important area. Yep. And verbal point of view, reading combination. This I'm saying every week. Para jumbles, sentence correction, which is grammar. This is the right time to grammar. Fill in the blanks. Grammar, for example, is a beautiful thing. There, there are only if I give you eight rules. Fine. If you talk to any of the grammar faculty, verbal faculty, they'll recommend you to start with the Hen and Martin book. Fine. Ask them one question, sir. When you studied for your CAT, did you study from the Hen and Martin? He'll say no. Fine, because it's very easy to recommend. And trust me, there's a tenth level ka book that we won't even understand tenses and everything. You don't need to start from that level. Fine. So what we've done, we have divided your grammar into eight rules. Fine. Most of the CAT questions or any other exams, ZAT, SNAP, CMAT will fall into the, those eight type of questions. Yep. So if you're covering those questions, trust me, it's more than sufficient for the exam. Yep. So all this we'll cover up if you are planning to join us. So we just summarize everything. This is the right time to complete your basics. Find out the important areas. I already talked about the important area in the in the video. Identify the weak areas. We will start working on the shortcuts. Mocks is not the right time, but yes, yes, we'll do the thing. And please keep an eye on the other exams as well. Do not ignore them. All of them are very very important. All right. So that's enough from my side. If you want to join us on join me on Facebook. If you have any query, you can ask me on facebook.com/ravgun. If you want to join our classroom programs, you can call on this number nine eight two zero five double zero three zero, and online courses can join on this number. This is our I am Dream Team on Facebook, which you can join the group. There are around thirty thirty one thousand members as I record this video. Yep, so you can join the group.